ogres rule the world. They are bigger than you, they are smarter than you, and just better than you in every way. They are the masters with a God-given right to the world. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a spoiler-free review of a brand new release. This is a standalone fantasy novella by Adrian Tchaikovsky and it's called Ogres, released on March 15th this year. I did get an advanced reader copy from Rebellion Publishing in exchange for this honest review. Let's jump in. Now, I don't want to give you too much information about the plot as this is a novella and I don't want to give too much away. However, I will give you a little, little teaser bit about this plot. In Ogres, we follow Torkel. He is a rebellious son of a local headman. His father leads a village and he reports to the landlord and master, an ogre. Torkel struggles to find his position and his place in the world, especially after having raised a hand against his masters. The first thing that struck me upon reading Ogres was the use of the second person perspective. It is written as though we are Torkel and our life story is being told to us. This is a very underused style in my opinion in speculative fiction and it gave Ogres a highly distinctive feel and tone. As always, Tchaikovsky has brilliant yet efficient prose and I think he made use of the second person perspective very well. The whole story felt very visceral to me and it immersed me deeply, especially considering how small a word count it has. The plot is pretty brisk and fast paced. It never really slows down to dwell on anything unnecessary and this makes it a very quick and a very engaging read. The same fact also leads to an emphasis on theme Themes touched on include ideas of the greater good and the conservation of the planet amongst a bunch of other things as well. The plot continues to move at a pace in service of themes that Tchaikovsky is trying to engage with and also in service of character and character growth. Um, this character growth is almost entirely focused on Torkel, which makes complete sense, especially in light of the limited page time and the second person perspective that is being used. Torkel is characterised very well though and I find it hard to know how much of my empathy for him is down to the quality of the writing and how much is maybe down to the perspective and how that pulled me in as well. Irrespective of why, I certainly did feel a real connection with Torkel. World building is another real treat with this book. I love the slowly expanding look at this world that we get um, digging into especially the world's present but also the world's past. Again, I don't quite know how Tchaikovsky managed to fit so much into so little time, but I do feel like I know this world so well, and it certainly wasn't achieved with info dumps. Everything that I did discover about the world felt earned, it felt relevant to what was happening to our characters as well. Um, and I love it when world building is constantly relevant to our characters and their story, without the world seeming to bend around our protagonists too much and then being right at the centre. Ogus finds that balance very well in my opinion. Do be aware that the second person perspective may be jarring for you, um, although I didn't find it at all jarring. Um, also the book is pretty heavy on internal monologue. There will often be large chunks of prose with little to no dialogue. Um, it felt very similar to me to Tchaikovsky's Children of Time books and I, I don't mind it, but it's also not exactly typical. So be aware your mileage may vary. Seriously though, the themes, the world building, the enticing tone and the quality prose made this an absolute hit for me. I don't think I could have found a better way to spend a few hours of an evening um, and it's definitely the best novella I've read from Tchaikovsky so far. It easily outstrips Ironclads and Firewalkers which are the other two that I have read from Tchaikovsky. I would Really highly recommend this novella. It's an easy five stars for me, and I would put it in the same league as some of Tchaikovsky's novels that I absolutely love, such as Children of Time and Dogs of War, which is saying a lot. Do let me know down below if you think you'll be picking this one up, and if you enjoy novellas, this video over here is a list of five novellas that might fit in nicely between some of those chunky fantasy epics that we all love to read. Nice to chat to you, and I'll see you guys again soon.